What's going on guys? NFC Championship game time. Minnesota Vikings going back to the Superdome to play the New Orleans Saints to see who is going to represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. Adrian Peterson, Garrick Williams, welcome back to the lineup. We missed you, but Toby Gerhardt played very well in the first two playoff games. The Saints will be without Roman Harper and Jari Evans. Two key injuries in their last game. Breeze did get injured, and Chase Daniel played very well in his place. But Breeze is healthy. He's ready to go for the championship game. And here you can see their last game they played against the Philadelphia Eagles in the divisional playoffs. And now it's time to head on to the Superdome. NFC Championship game Minnesota played here in 2009 obviously the Saints were victorious and went on to win the Super Bowl but now this these playoffs have been all about vengeance and we lost to our first two opponents in the regular season and now this is a team that beat us two years ago in the NFC Championship game so it does not end here this is a big game for us and so let's get into the action welcome back Adrian Peterson we're gonna give him the ball on first and 18 and on his first carry back he's just gonna get us a few yards nothing major nothing happened on that drive but here we go breeze back to pass and he finds Marcus Colston for a first down up towards the 27 yard line I did make some defensive changes and put Jamel Fleming on Colston because Winfield is struggling and then Breeze looking on the left side and is picked off by Cedric Griffin, our cornerback. And he's going to take this up towards the 48-yard line. Good field position for us. The first turnover of the game. And then first and 10 for Christian Ponder as he drops back and looks on the right side of Vasante Shanko. How great has he been as of late? His second catch on the day gets us a first down. Then on third and three, Ponder looking on the right side. And guess who? It's Vasante Shanko once again. He has been so good. First and ten handoff goes to Adrian Peterson. He's back, hasn't lost a step. Seven yards on the carry. And then on third and goal from the three-yard line, Ponder back to pass. Good protection. And he's going to throw it right side for Adrian Peterson. First touchdown of the game. Minnesota takes a seven to nothing lead. And Breeze out of the shotgun later in the first quarter. And he's going to find Ingram out of the backfield. Then Abdullah comes up and tackles him right before the first down marker which will set up the Saints on third and one from their own 29-yard line. And Breeze back to pass, and he finds his tight end, moves the chains, getting towards the 40-yard line. And the Saints, they love to air it out. Breeze back to pass once again. He's going to hook up with Lance Moore. They're going to get up towards midfield now, trying to get into Minnesota territory. And then the handoff goes to Mark Ingram. He's going to go right up the heart of this defense, a struggling run defense as of late. He's going to pick up a first down. But we do force him into a third and long situation. Third and 16, Breeze moving in the pocket. He's going to throw it as far as he can into the back of the end zone. It's going to fall incomplete. And so they're going to end up kicking a field goal. And they get the ball back with the same score now about midway through the second quarter. And on second and nine, Breeze is going to pass it again, going deep over the middle. Safety's trying to come in. Greenway was on him, and Jimmy Graham comes down with it anyways. Great catch. Then third and nine, hit by Christian Ballard. Breeze fumbles the ball. It's picked up by an offensive lineman, pushing him back to the 37-yard line, where they're going to attempt a long field goal, and the kick is up, and it is no good. So Christian Ballard gets the big play on defense, forces a missed field goal, and gives us great field position. First and 10 for Ponder, and he's looking for Shanko in the middle of the field, the first down into New Orleans territory, moving the chains. Shanko with four catches already, and then second and nine, the handoff goes to Adrian Peterson, blocked by Jim Kleinsaucer. He's going to get into field goal range up to the 25-yard line. Adrian still running hard, third and nine for Ponder. He's going to roll out to his right. And heave it right side in the direction of Aroma should do what goes out of bounds. And so Ryan Longwell comes out to kick the field goal. And we will take a 10-3 lead right now. Getting towards late in the second quarter. Breeze and Cruz still trying to get some more points on the board. Second and nine and Breeze goes over the middle to Robert Meacham. And he's going to get him a first down to the 44-yard line. Cedric Griffin shaking up on the play. Then on third down, Jared Allen coming off the left side, and he puts Breeze down at the 35. That would kill the drive, but they would get another opportunity before the half now. Second and inches from their own 39-yard line. Breeze is a man wide open on the left side, but he's going to go right. And there's Jimmy Graham going up, snagging the ball out of the air. First down for the Saints, running some no huddle now. And Breeze from the 31, more great protection. He finds Lance Moore in the middle of the field. That's the guy Winfield's supposed to be covering right now, and they work their way inside of the five-yard line with 30 seconds left. Handoff to Ingram. 
and he is stopped by Chad Greenway, and they end up having to kick a field goal. They'll go 10 to 6 at the half, and now Minnesota with the ball to open up to second. And play action for Ponder, and then thrown it as far as he can on the left side, and Michael Jenkins goes up and gets the ball. He's going to be down at the 12-yard line, 52-yard completion. First down now for Ponder, good protection, finds Kyle Rudolph on the left side, his first catch of the game. He's going to get nine yards, get the Vikings inside of the five, where we give it to Adrian Peterson. He cuts that hand off right side and goes in for the score, his second touchdown on the day. 17-6 now, Vikings breeze to pass on third and eight, and he's going to find a wide open Marcus Colston for a first down. Breeze is getting his yards, but Minnesota's holding them to minimal points. And then Breeze looking for Ingram out of the backfield. It's snatched out of the air by Alfonso Smith. No one in front of him. Alfonso Smith takes it in for a touchdown. Vikings go up now 24-6. Big lead on the Saints. And Breeze in the Saints offense trying to get it back on track. Play action Ingram. Then look on the left side and that's Lance Moore who beat Antoine Winfield. And he's going to get deep into Minnesota territory inside of the 10-yard line all the way to the 7. And from the 12 on first and goal, Breeze is going to pass and he finds Marcus Colston in the end zone. Great pass, great catch, touchdown Saints. It's now a two-score game on Marcus Colston's 50th career receiving touchdown. And down by 11, they have the ball once again on third and 11. Breeze has got time to move in the pocket, but good protection, and Jared Allen finally sacks him back at the 21-yard line, and they have to punt the ball now to Kenyon Barner, who's going to feel it at about the 29-yard line. He's going to take it up, have a couple of blocks in front of him, and there we go, a good return from Kenyon Barner gets us into Saints territory. He's been a very good special teamer for us this year and getting us good field position on punt returns continuously. Second and nine for Ponder, who is going to pass. Sitting in the pocket, and he is sacked on the play by Cam Jordan, making it third and 15 from the 50-yard line. Ponder out of the gun, Booker to his left. He's going to drop back, pump, and look right. Wide open, Plaxico Burris, and he overthrows him. Chris Cluey has to come on to punt Minnesota with a huge missed opportunity there. Second and eight for Drew Brees, sitting in the pocket, that great offensive line keeping him clean, but the pass on the play is incomplete, and they'll go to third and eight. Now empty backfield for Brees, and he's going to look on the left side for an open Meacham, and he can't hang on either. And they would punt the ball after two missed opportunities from the 45-yard line. First and 10 for Ponder out of the gun, sending everybody deep. And then Shanko cutting to the left side. That's going to be a first down. They get to the New Orleans 39-yard line. And Burris in motion. Ponder's going to pass again. He pumps and goes over the middle to Shanko once again, targeting Shanko a lot as of late. That'll get him into Ryan Longwell field goal range. And then the end around goes to Kenyon Barner, who takes it right up the gut. And he's going to go up to the 18-yard line on the 11-yard rush. And Ponder flips it left to Adrian Peterson, who shakes a defender and is now using the speed to get outside, makes it cut inside, and gets 16 yards on the fake fullback die of halfback toss. Don't use that play too often. And then Pierre Thomas stops short of the goal line on first down. We'll go to second down where Adrian Peterson gets the carry, and he pounds it in. We're in the fourth quarter now in Minnesota with a lead, 31-13. to Crunch time now for Breeze. The season is on the line. Out of the shotgun, second and six. Looking on the right side for Jimmy Graham. Nobody covering him. He's going to get up towards midfield. Pass defense looking very suspect at this point. Breeze, low snap on third and six out of the gun. He's going to look over the middle, and there's Lance Moore making the reception to get the conversion. And we shake him up so he can't catch a ball anymore. First and 15 now. Breeze back to pass. He's going to throw it as far as he can on the left side. Looking for Robert Meacham, and he beats his man. Touchdown, Saints. Great pass from Breeze to Meacham. 31-20 to now. Third and one for the Vikings, trying to kill some clock. Adrian Peterson gets the carry. Huge hole in the middle of the field. He's going to go up towards the 49-yard line, over 100 yards, and his return back from the injured list. And with Ponder to pass on 3rd and 11, throwing a jump ball for Jenkins. And Jabari Greer picks it out of the air, trying to give our wide receiver an opportunity to make a play. Shanko was open in the flats, but I assume that he would have been tackled well before the first down marker. 
Third and ten now for Breeze. Has great protection. He steps up and he finds Robert Meacham. Pass defense not very good right now. Trying to hold him for these last seven minutes. Second and ten. Breeze finds Meacham once again. First down to the 27-yard line. Breeze doing a good job passing the ball on this defense right now. And he's going to try again on first down with tremendous protection. Looking to the end zone and... Dorsey can't quite come down with it. Incomplete pass. We'll try again on third down. Now six and a half left. DeAndre Reed coming, and he is eventually put down by Donald Butler. Fourth down coming up. Now they're going to kick the field goal to make this an eight-point contest. The kick is up, and it is good. So they're down by one score now. Minnesota's going to get the ball. The Saints have fought back hard, but Minnesota needs to put him down. Adrian Peterson, look at these cuts and then a spin. He's got plenty of room on the left side. He's going to get all the way to the Saints' 41-yard line. Big gain for Adrian. What a monster. Second and 10, we're going to give the ball to Pierre Thomas. And no room for the ex-Saint trying to do some damage against his former team. And then us trying to convert on third and seven. Ponder middle of the field for Vasante Shanko. That's a conversion. That gets us to field goal range. We should at least get this to a two-score game. Second and ten, the handoff goes to Adrian. David Mulk out in front blocking. And that's going to be a first down to the four-yard line. So Peterson getting to some big gains on the ground. Pierre Thomas on second and goal. And he can't quite get to the goal line. So we have to try again on third and goal. But we're going to give the ball to the workhorse. Adrian Peterson up the middle. And that's a touchdown. We take a 15-point lead now. Breeze still trying to fight back. Under two minutes to play in the game. Minute and a half going, and Colston makes a catch. Fleming trying to do his best to cover him from the 46-yard line now. Time really getting to be a factor. Breeze finds McBride. That's going to be another first down. They'll get into our territory with just over a minute left. Now they got to get two scores and left side. Nobody covering Devery Henderson. Tackle at the one-yard line, shaking up, trying to do anything he can to get the Saints a victory. First and goal for Brees. is going to pass it out of the gun and over the middle for Marcus Colston. Referee will come over. He's going to say it's a catch. So the Saints now down by one score. Once again, eight-point deficit. The whole season riding on an onside kick. Minnesota has the hands team out. It's touched by a Viking, and it's recovered by the Saints. I don't know who touched it, but you can't do that. It didn't even go 10 yards yet. Breeze is going to pass on first down, but Brian Robinson is there. He sacks him on the play. Second and 17 now. Breeze trying to pass again. He's got great protection, but good coverage overall, and it's batted away. So we'll go to third and long now. 35 seconds left in the game. Two timeouts left for the Saints. Breeze passing, great protection, right side, that's going to be a completion to McBride, a short gain, making it a more manageable fourth down. This could be the whole season right here, fourth down, 27 seconds left, Breeze out of the gun, Ingram to his left, back to pass, Breeze, and we're going to the Super Bowl, Brian Robinson puts him down on fourth down, first down, two sacks in that drive, we're going to the Super Bowl, Leslie Frazier gets the Gatorade bath, and Minnesota is going to the big game. Alfonso Smith is a player of the game with a pick six, 38 to 30. Vengeance, three times in a row here. Three nail biters in the playoffs, a lot of close wins during the regular season. Overcoming nearly 500 yards of passing from Drew Brees. Adrian Peterson in his first game back in the playoffs, 159 yards and three rushing touchdowns and a receiving touchdown. What more can we ask from him? Jimmy Graham and Lance Moore did a great job receiving. Shenko was the key player for us. And our front four played well. We're going to the Super Bowl, but who will be our opponent? The Indianapolis Colts were victorious over the Houston Texans 25-10 behind four Adam Venetary field goals. And Peyton Manning, the NFL MVP, has taken his team to the Super Bowl once again. And so that is who we will be facing in two episodes when the Minnesota Vikings play the Indianapolis Colts in the Super Bowl. In Season 2 of this series, next episode we will have the Pro Bowl coming up. You guys requested that I play this game, and so I'll bring it to you next episode. And then we will have the Super Bowl. Until then, a couple more videos for you guys to check out. On top, we have our last game we played against the Arizona Cardinals in the divisional round of the playoffs. And on the bottom, we have the one prior to that when we played against the St. Louis Rams on Wild Card Weekend. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the Pro Bowl. Have a nice day.